Hey guys, I'm a little late today, but been a little busy, had an exam, uh, work event, so I'm just going to cover the Hung Jury Scout Rifle, uh, let's see if you want to go farm an adept one in Grandmasters over the weekend. Uh, I've actually got a lot of decent rolls to look for. I think the big one that most people are uh, going crazy over is Shoot to Loot. Where do I do that? Shoot to Loot. And kinetic tremors. Uh, shoot to loot. You know what this does? You shoot ammo bricks, refills all your weapons. Uh, kinetic tremors. You score. I think it's hits required to activate six. Okay, I thought it was four, but I guess it is six. Uh, if you shoot an enemy six times, it does a whole um, shockwave effect. It does a ton of flinch, and also. A whole bunch of damage so really really strong perk um, and it procs shoot to loot so if the tremor hits a ammo brick it will pick up the ammo and refill all your weapons uh, shoot to loot is also getting a buff uh, I think next season or it'll also pick up orbs so this will be a, a good combo if you feel like you don't play endgame activities enough to warrant kinetic tremors, I would look for shoot to loot Firefly instead. Um, because Firefly's explosion should do the same thing. Dragonfly synergizes with shoot to loot, and I believe Firefly is coded the same way. So you can look for that. Um, if you don't get shoot to loot, Rabbit Hit, I think, is the next best thing here to pair with either one of these perks. Uh, subsistence is also not terrible. Um, although I think you have better, I think, uh, rabbit hit and shoot to loot are going to be better options. Um, Firefly, obviously, a uh, pretty good trait in its own right. Not as good as kinetic tremors for endgame. And I think frenzy is probably a better option for lower end content because you will get a damage bonus. But... Overall, neither you can't, you can't really go wrong with either Firefly or Frenzy. It just kind of depends on what you prefer. Um, for PvP, there's the old classic with box breathing, where when that's active, you can three tap if your first shot is a headshot. Uh, gut shot straight. I don't really know if this changes the time to kill. Actually, let's see. Uh, it does not. Oh, uh, well. Slightly, actually. You can kill in two head and two body instead of... Yeah, you can kill everyone in two head and two body instead of almost everyone in two head and two body. Uh, so yeah, just don't bother with that. Adagio, when it's active, will let you two head one body. Um, but it increases. Well. Eh, Adagio wouldn't be bad. So box breathing or Adagio just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Um, I wouldn't really bother with no distractions or surplus. I personally don't think. 180s in general need surplus. Um, I think their base stats are just really solid across the board. Um, they're just kind of lagging in damage. Offhand strike is interesting and not terrible by any means, but I don't. I don't know. I don't see when you're going to be hip firing as Gary Rifle level nine. Um. So yeah, I think I think that's all there really is to cover with this gun. Uh, Tremors or Firefly with shoot to loot, uh, sub frenzy or like lower tier content, uh, rapid hit box breathing or Adagio for PvP if you want to go that route, um, and then maybe like offhand strike if you want to do some hip firing with uh, let's say Adagio, just so that you have the the snowballing on perk uh, on kill perks. Master doesn't matter a whole lot. You don't really need range. Uh, these guns are very stable anyway. 
Uh, handling, if you have gone a role that does not have frenzy, you can you can go handling instead or reload. But I mean, really, this this is like the least. This basically doesn't matter. Uh, same with your mags and barrels. Just go with whatever combination you want the most of. Uh, so that'll be it for this gun. Uh, not a whole lot to talk about here. Uh, and I'll cover. What will I cover tomorrow? Uh, maybe Perpetualis. Yeah, we'll cover Perpetualis tomorrow. So I will see you then.